Hello my book loving friends, welcome back to Storytime with Mary. This is where we get to read all of our favourite books and book lovers if you're loving reading along with Mary. Don't go forgetting to hit the like button and also subscribe to our videos so that we can read together all the time. Book lovers, today we are going to be reading a book all about how to manage our emotions and to deal with our deepest fears. Today's book is called A Little Bit Worried and this book is written by Kira Gavin and oops sorry and Tim Warns. So if you've got a little bit worried at home grab it now and let's read it together. We're going to go on a journey with the little weasel and find out what he's a little bit worried about. Weasel was minding his own business, out collecting leaves, when suddenly the weather changed. <gasps> Can you see Weasel? He's out collecting his leaves, isn't he? And all of a sudden, something changes. Weasel was soaked through by a nasty rain. Then a gust of wind knocked him flat on his bottom. Weasel stood up and puffed out his chest. That's enough of that messing about, he told the sky. But just then, the heavens opened up and he was bumped about by a mighty hell shower. Weasel was starting to feel very small and defenceless against this angry storm. Poor little weasel. He built a wall to keep him safe, but the gale blew it in and it whirled all night. So he built the wall higher, but then the rain came back and wouldn't take no for an answer. So what do you think Weasel did next? So Weasel made a roof. Keep out, he said, satisfied. Weasel settled in his new safe place. He thought of the storm raging outside and it made him shiver. Time passed and Weasel got used to being by himself. But one day he turned around and was alarmed to find Mole sitting on his couch. What is this place? asked Mole. <laughs> it's a fortress, said Weasel nervously. Oh, marvellous, nodded Mole. I love a good fortress. You guard this side and I'll guard that one. No, said Weasel. It's not for playing. It's a home. Marvellous, yawned Mole. Getting comfortable. Pop the kettle on then. No, fretted Weasel. It's not a place for visitors. It's a place to hide. Marvellous, said Mole. You count to ten and no peeking. No, insisted Weasel. It's not for games. It's for keeping me safe. Who's after you, asked Mole. Is it Fox? He's a wily one. I'll scare him off with my scary face. No, groaned Weasel. I'm hiding from the storm. And there isn't room for the both of us. Well, where's the fun in that, replied Mole. It's not meant to be fun, said Weasel. Just safe. Well, what's wrong with a good storm anyway, added Mole, placing his hand on Weasel's shoulder. Weasel told Mole all about the wind and the rain and the damp and the chill, the snow and the ice, all the things that frightened him. The storm is scary, said Weasel, and much, much bigger than me. I see, said Mole gently, but storms can be such fun too. Whenever it snows, I love to scoop it up and make a snowman. And the wind, questioned Weasel. That knocks you off your feet? Oh! I love when that happens, beamed, beamed Mole. 
The wind lifts my fur and it feels all ticklish. With a giggle, he twirled and he fell over laughing. But the cold rain, Mole, continued Weasel. What do you do when you get caught in that? Why, I splash about in the biggest puddles I can find, replied Mole. Then I sit in an armchair by the fire and dry off with a cup of hot soup. Soup always tastes extra wonderful when you've been out in the rain. Mole had such a different way of seeing things. But Mole, said Weasel, what do you do when you feel afraid to face something? I face it with my friend, smiled Mole. And with that, he held out his hand. And Weasel took Mole's hand and together they walked out into a warm, sunny day. The end. Book lovers, I really hope you enjoyed that book. And it had such an important message. Do you remember what happened? Shall I remind you? So Weasel was scared of the rain and then the wind and then there were hailstones and it was really really scary for Weasel so he built a house he started with a bit of a wall then he made it taller and taller until he built a roof on top and then he stayed there for ages because he thought the storm was still outside but then his friend Mole came and he gave him a completely different view of the world. He said, well, when it rains, you can just splash around in muddy puddles. When it's windy, you can roll around in the wind. And when it snows, you can make a snowman. Book lovers, Mole always sees the positive side of things. And did you know what? Weasel had been in that house for so long that the storm had stopped outside and it was a bright, sunny day book lovers if you love that story as much as i did don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our videos and we will read together again next time okay bye